What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. I saw a crock pot cinnamon roll casserole on a website called eatingonadime.com. I figured, you know what, I had to give this recipe a shot. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that website in the uh, description below. Let's go ahead and hook this up and see if it's as good as it looks. Now the recipe seemed kind of easy. First thing we need is four eggs that are beaten, which I have in here. Let's go ahead and beat those a little bit more. I'm going to need a half a cup of cream. Let's go ahead and add that in. And I will have this recipe in the description below as well. So go ahead and run by there and take a look at that. We have three tablespoons of vanilla. And that's just regular vanilla. It's not imitation vanilla or a vanilla extract. We're going to go ahead and hit it with some maple syrup. Three tablespoons of that. Now I will tell you, I did get a little cheap on that maple syrup. I just used some regular, you know, maple syrup like you buy at the store. It's not like no real maple syrup, but you know, get as expensive as you want on this. Let's go ahead and mix that in. Now, one thing I am gonna change on this recipe is I am gonna hit it with a little bit of brown sugar. Can't go wrong with brown sugar. And we're gonna hit it with some cinnamon. And as far as the cinnamon rolls go, you're going to need two packs of cinnamon rolls. Plus, when you hook up these cinnamon rolls, you get these little icing packets. We're going to set those aside. And I already have my cinnamon rolls cut up. And those are cut into quarters. And what we're going to do with those is we're going to put three quarters of these cinnamon rolls in this crock pot. Try to break them up a little bit so they're not all stuck together. Now we're going to go ahead and pour this mixture on top of it. Now in her recipe, she, she did a slow cook recipe on this. What we're going to do, instead of cooking it on low, is we're going to cook it on high. And I'm going to go for about an hour and 45 minutes. I already have my crock pot set for two hours because I wanted it to get uh, warmed up while we are doing all this. Now that I have all this in, we're just going to go ahead and throw the remaining cinnamon rolls on top. Like I said, this should be a simple and easy recipe. Let's go ahead and find this top. We're going to let this go for hour 45 minutes. About three to five minutes before these are done, we're going to go ahead, thaw out these uh, icing packets, drizzle it over the top, and hopefully this tastes as good as I think it is. So here's what we're looking like right now. Went ahead and threw some icing on top of it. Only thing left to do is taste it and see what's up. All right, guys. So let's get into this taste test. Let's just make this quick and simple. I kind of like that. It has almost kind of a custardy kind of a aspect to the bottom of it. You know, let me go in one more time. I think I got a little something that I'm gonna mention here in a second. This right here is definitely a good recipe. And I do want to uh, thank her for inspiring me to do that or do this recipe. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link to all her stuff in the description below. One thing I will say about this, this is one of those recipes where you say, you know what, you can do it in a crock pot. I think I might have rocked this out a little bit uh, quicker just by doing it in the oven. Maybe even with a little bit less cleanup. but. You cannot go wrong with these flavors. I'm telling you, this stuff is good. Throw a little ice cream on this, and you'll be good to go. Anyway, before I get too greedy and have people talk about my taste tests, which I don't mind, let me get out of here. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, I'm out.